Good morning, Geo Universe. Captain, your host is here, and we are in Alabama. We are on route to Decatur, Alabama, but there's a few caches along the way, so we're going to pick them up. It is, what time is it? Almost 8.30 this morning. Well, we are on site for the first one here. We are at a historical landmark called La Box Boxwood Plantation down here in Alabama. So, supposed to be somewhere in this area here. This catches my eye. Let's see. Let's go here. Oh, look at that. Yep, right there. That, there's the first cash out for the day. Whole lot more to come today, tomorrow, and Sunday because today is Friday. We've got ourselves a three-dayer. We're going to rock and roll. See you around. Hey, guys. We're on site for number two. Looks like we're going to be over this way. Somewhere. Uh, let's see. There's a sign. I'm curious. Nothing on the back of the sign. I was thinking magnetic. Oh, hold on here. See something down here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Behind the... Oh. Got it. Awesome. See you around. Hey, guys. We're on site for the next cache. Looks like we got ourselves a shell game. And what I mean is we got one pole, two pole, three pole. Which pole is it going to be? Well, these this one's lifted up, so I don't believe it would be that one. This one's down more, but it's higher on the GPS. So let's go this way, see if we go down. Okay, we're going down. According to the GPS, it's gonna be this one. So let's see here, put you guys down there. Nothing there. Mm. Nope, nothing on there. Okay. Strike out number one. Let's go to here. Let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, there it is. Bison tube. Got it. Okay, guys. So you saw me at the flagpole. That was the first one at this park. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other catches at this baseball park location. So what we're going to do is we park the closest to the one on this side and then we're going to do the loop around and get them all. This first one though has like four DNFs on it. We'll take a good chance at it and if I don't find it, I do have replacements. It has a hint to tell you ideally right where it's supposed to be. So I should be able to at least get it back in it close to its original location. And then the next one has one DNF on it, but it was someone got ran off while they were looking for it. So we'll give that a good search. Probably won't replace that one unless we, there's a hint on it. I haven't looked. And then there's a bunch of other ones around this park area and we'll go after them. So we'll have ourselves a good time. I'll bring you back when we figure this stuff out. Okay, guys. So that first one was missing. I did a good thorough search. Couldn't find it. I looked at the hint, put it where the hint said it should have been. So that one's ready to be found. Just want to say, man, it's an awesome, beautiful day down here in Alabama, by the way. I was about 65 degrees, maybe. Maybe a little cooler, a little warmer. Beautiful. Got a little breeze. Glad I chose this park and these, these locations today because it's going to be a good one. Stick with me. We're going to have fun today. Okay, guys. We're near the next cache. About 17 feet or so. Uh, oh, look at that. Right there in front of me. We got it. Pretty cool. A little fake grasshopper. Gotcha. Hey guys, so we're real close to the next one, 30 some odd feet. But we are a lot thicker on the trees and grass at this location. It's supposed to be hanging on a barbed wire, so I'm assuming it's probably back there. There looks to be a little trail. So we can find a place to go in. Okay, I see the barbed wire fence. Let's see if I can get back to it to get a better view of the cache at location. 
It is thick. This is some thick bush. Okay, there we are. Okay, 14 feet. Let's see. Uh, having some issues. Hey, look, I can't move in here. I'll let you know. So guys, listen here. It's very overgrown, right? I do see the cash from outside, but everyone knows the rule is if you don't sign the log, it doesn't count. So that's what we're gonna do. We gotta get in there and sign this log. We're going to go in and sign it. I wanted to bring you along with me. So here we go. Very thorny. These all these trees have thorns. Very thorny. But you know those are the rules. We got to sign it. That's what we're doing. We're gonna get in here. Ooh. It is really thick. Very thorny. Gotta try to get down. Ooh, I don't think it was this thorny when they oh, put this in here though. Man, how do you get to it? Can't give up. No, nope, cannot give up. You gotta get in there. Gotta get in here and get it. Go, gotta go low. Gotta go. Ooh, I dropped you guys. I still got you right there. Okay. That one got me. Okay, there. We got you up a little bit more. Okay, gotta get low. Ah. Uh. Okay. I'm in. Maybe. Ah. Uh, gotta get up. Gotta get up higher. There it is. Okay. Got my hands on it, guys. You see that? I'm. Hey, guys. So I've just about finished the park. I'm getting ready to head into the last cache now. The last three caches were identical to this cache. So that's why I figured I'd just bring you back for the one and let you see one of them. There it is. I already see it on the fence because I've seen three others just like it so as we walk up fence line hanging on the fence there it is see you in the next one hey guys so we are on site for the next cache obviously <laughs> got brain dance dead there for a minute okay so we're about 120 feet it's going to be on that caboose and again we all know i don't like cabooses i don't like trains i don't like any of these kind but this one's here it's on my way there to the next location so we are going to do it so there was a hint what was that hint something about it was magnetic nano located on the east side by bay window so that's right if I'm right, this side's the east side of the train. And there's the bay window. Bay windows come out. So, let's just do a quick search. Nothing popping. Ah. Oh, hey, there it is. Wow, found it. That was actually quite easier than I was expecting, but it, well, yeah, it's still magnetic. See, still magnetic. Okay, I'll take the find. Thank you. See you around. Hey guys, we're about 70 feet from the next cache. It's a local church, uh, Trinity Baptist Church. We're in the small town of Trinity. Uh, coming up on a transverser thing here. I found them here many a times. Most of the time, they're magnetic under something. But looking down, that's a fake rock right there. There it is. Fake rock. Got it. See you around. Hey guys, Captain here with you. We're on site for the next cache. Left the phone in the car with the actual cords because I had the hint. The hint was leading me here. Something about an orange cap. So, thinking it's that orange cap up there. Got to be able to get it off. There it is. Got it. So now, oh, there it is. Awesome sauce. 
I was a little worried because I didn't see a hook or anything. Woo, got it. Hey guys, we're now in an industrial business park there behind me. Got about four or five of them on this road here. So I imagine they're all going to be pretty quick, easy ones. There it is right there behind the bison. Bison two behind the arrow. Awesome. See you next. Hey guys, so we're on site for the next cache. I believe it's gonna be that fire hydrant. I was actually gonna try to jump the ditch, but I just realized how big that ditch was and I'm not trying to get hurt. I'm not out here by myself. If I had someone here with me, that might've been a fun thing to try. At least then if I got hurt, you know, someone could have took me to the hospital with a broken ankle or something, but nah, I'm not gonna jump that with nobody here. So it was red and white. There it is. I knew I felt it. Woohoo! Another little one. Awesome. Hey, here's the first one of these for us today, guys. Guardrail. Got it. Awesome. Hey guys, Captain here with you. We've got two caches out this way. I'm going after. First one that is actually a trackable hotel, or at least it's supposed to be. So we'll see how that one turns out. And then the other one is a pink flamingo. Not quite sure how to get to that one. That one was kind of had me a little confused. But this one's not too bad, I don't think. I'm only 240 feet. So. Let's see where this goes. So we'll go this way. Nice little trampling through the woods. Let's see if this is actually going to put me close to the other one as well. I'm wondering if I should go up that way for this other one. Man, it's quite a walk straight this way, but... Here we go. We're getting close to the one we're supposed to be looking for, so we'll just go back there for now. 140 feet. A little bit of a trampling through the woods. A little more than one half, one half, if you ask me. At least the terrain is. Okay. And here now. We're like 60 feet from this cache, so we should be close. And if it's as big as it says it is, it should jump out of me here really soon. I'm 40 feet, you think I'd be seeing it by now. Okay, vibrators are 30 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet. There we are. Whew. It's a pretty big geocache. Um, hmm. Guess I need to figure out the combination somehow. Okay, when I get it open, I'll let you know. Hey guys, so I got the lock off finally. There's the box. Have not opened it yet. First time opening it. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Wow. Look at that. Now that's something someone took time to do. Look at that. All kinds. Of, there's the log book there. All kind of little trinkets and doodads all kind of stuff magnetic clips some, some other stuff pretty cool i don't see any trackables in here oh hold on duh this sign says trackables nope no trackables ah shrek pretty cool but no trackables, so I'll uh, send the log, put my stuff in, and moving on. See you around. 
Hey guys, so we are in route for that Flamingo one, I think. We come down on the little side road to the back end of that parking area. Looks like if we go this way, might have a chance to find it. Let's do it. You know me, I take all the chances. Solo run, multiple people run. I like to get them all. So here we are, about a tenth of a mile. So I'll bring you back when we get closer. Obviously, I'm not gonna make you walk with me but pretty cool place so far i've had a good time let's keep it going okay guys i brought you right back so i want you to see what i'm seeing i'm about 500 feet and i'm headed into the woods so here's what it is i'll show you when we get there Whew. it's gonna be a hard one i think see you soon hey guys i'm wore out it's uh 70 feet from the cache I think I came out the wrong way. Seventy-five feet. Definitely think I came out the wrong way though. I, I had to climb over all kind of stuff. This thing's listed as a two-two. Terrain's definitely come from the way I came. It's a four or a five. Thirty feet. Should be inciting distance. Should be over 14 feet. Oh, there she is. There's the pink flamingo. We found the elusive pink flamingo. Whew. See you around. Hey guys, I'm here. We're on similar site to the next one. Semi site. I don't know. 20 feet. So I'm thinking it's gonna be on this pole not listed as a micro or small it's actually listed as an other Ooh, mr. bees got ourselves a couple little bees right there oh that's a big old beehive up inside there if y'all can see that there's the bees there's a bee big old beehive in there so I'm not gonna go sticking my hands around there without being sure who this beehive up top too to see just glance and see if anything jumps if nothing jumps at me i'm not sticking my hand oh there it is haha <laughs> got it awesome and i didn't get stung hey guys captain back at it see her my head there there's my car parked on the road I had to get up this hill here about 100 feet <sighs> we're up the hill 90 feet to go into the trees 80 feet it's supposed to be a uh, regular so that's a plus not looking for a micro or nothing hanging at least it's not supposed to be Oh, there it is. Sweet. In my box. Perfect. Not much in it. A couple little toys and a log book. Awesome. Hey guys, so we're about 25 feet from the cash. 13, 9. Ooh, real close to cash. I'm not there. Okay. Let's see. Three. Anything on? Oh, all right. Look at that up there. There it is. Woo. All the magnets. I got it. Woo okay, guys. I think we're going to start hitting some parking lot caches now. Standard ones. Like, well, I thought standard. No, oh, it's not there. Oh, oh, there it is. Bison tube. Ooh, it's stuck. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna have to pull out the tools. Where are the tweezers? I know I have them, because I've used them earlier. Oh boy, where are they at in there? You guys see them in there? 
There they are. I got them. Right there. And then we'll grab that. And... There it is. Got it. Woohoo! See you around. Okay. Okay, guys. Anybody who's seen any of my videos have seen this cache. If you've seen it once, you've seen it a thousand times. I'm going to show it one time on this video. I won't show another one of these the rest of the weekend. No matter how many I find, I'll never show another light skirt this weekend. That's a promise because I'm sure I'm going to have about 50,000 of these to do. So, see you in the next one. Here we are. We're still at that church. No, it's not still. We're at the church. This one's over here. Uh, it's something about a tree, 30 feet. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, that's a good one. I'm glad I brought you guys out. Look at that. That's a good one. Birdhouse. Oh, we got another combo we got to figure out. Okay, so let me figure that out. And I'll bring it back when I open it. See you soon. Hey, guys. Locks off. Hang that there. First time opening it. Let's see what they got inside. Boom! Fake spider. That's cool. Now that's uh, nothing there. So we got fake spider. Look like we do have a trackable blue switch day trackable. Sweet. Been in there a while. Cobby webbed up. Let's see what else we got up in there. Well, that looks like the log sheet. That looks like we have a second trackable. Very cool. We do have a second trap trackable so i'm gonna drop my coin here and take one of these trackables see you soon hey guys i'm uh looking for one i've actually been looking for a couple of them here at the mall they've all been light skirts so we found most of them this one here seems to ah there we are is that it there we go ha 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 got it I was a little confused at first when I showed up. I was thinking it was in the tree, but cords kept putting me over here in the middle of the drive. And there it is. Awesome sauce. See you around. Hey guys, Captain back at it. Been at it. Still been doing it. Uh, I've been doing a lot of parking lot jumping, grabbing ones in parking lots, the uh, light skirts, stop signs, things that you guys have seen who knows how many times. But with that being said, I am in a Lowe's parking lot and we are headed across this little road to the tree line here and i thought i'd bring you back and see if we could find this one together or two feet hmm. two feet i was thinking oh, oh look at that <laughs> there it is i didn't even see it I can't see it back there and then i reach back and boom there it is got it see you next one hey guys so we're getting to sight on the next one it's 40 feet you guys are at 40 percent it's supposed to be a tree so 11 8 feet whoa that almost hit me in the head okay five feet so two feet so this is the tree a tree is it the tree? I don't know. Circle the tree as we go. Not seeing anything. Hmm. Well, maybe. Don't know if I'm in the right places. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's in here. So I'll go back out. 30 feet. 
definitely this tree here. I'm gonna put y'all away. So guys, and we were at the right tree and we just didn't look up high enough. That's pretty cool. We don't really see them too often hanging like that, so. Awesome sauce, see you around. Hey guys, Captain here with you. We are 60 feet from our next cache. We're at another sports complex. Uh, I think there's four of them at this one, so we're gonna see if we can possibly come up with them. This one's about 20 feet this way, 19. So we're gonna assume it's somewhere 14, 11, nine feet. So we're gonna guess it's over here somewhere. Let's see, hint. I don't know what that hint means. Oh, got it. I think I got lucky on that one, guys. Whew, I got real lucky, but I got it. Hey, guys, we're uh, getting ready to be on site for the next one. We're at 24 feet here. This is insane looking. I mean, you got benches, bleachers, got a soccer goal. We got overgrowth of trees. I have 18. I have no clue where to even start looking. I mean, for all we know, it could be on one of these benches. But if they take benches away, who knows? The bench could be gone by now. I don't. I don't have a clue. Try and get this coordinates to drop down a little bit. I'm just bouncing all over the place. I'd have to say that soccer goal has been in there a while. I'm going to say, I'm going to, okay, we're getting close here. So we're going to say it's going to be in this area here. So let's see. Two half, two half, micro. Uh, I'm looking. Here for a second. Uh, I'm looking, 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 looking for anything. Give me, nope. It's a fairly new one, too. So, okay. So, if I'm going to put one in here, what would I do? Well, I'm looking at the soccer goal. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Now, let's poke your head in here and see what you see a little bit, too. Hmm, I don't know guys. Not looking too promising because I'm not even sure where to be looking. So I'm gonna let you go while I do a little searching. Hey guys, so I actually I was in over there playing around with these soccer goals. Came back around here. I actually felt in here and I didn't find it. But there is a string. And the reason I didn't find it because it was all the way down that low. <laughs> but I got it. Woohoo! Hey guys, so we're at the next one. Looks to be here around the scoreboard somewhere. There's a drain gully down there. There it is, like that. Got it. Awesome. Sauce. Hey guys, Captain here. I've just about walked this whole soccer complex here today. So I've actually found the back gate entrance, which is currently closed. And there's supposed to be a cache right in this area somewhere. Somewhere over here. 10 feet. Okay, so we're about ground zero. Somewhere in the midst of these rocks. The hint says, title, large camo pill bottle. Jack Allen on the rock. So it's on in the rocks, and we know that. So hasn't been found since early, early this year. So I mean it could. You know, if I look it around, look it around. In there. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn you off if I keep looking. Hey, no luck with this one, guys. This is pretty close to a residential area. So I'm sure if people play around over here, they probably got found and taken. So out of five, I found three. I'll take that. Well worth my time. I'll see you in the next ones. Maybe. I gotta get you charged, but I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, so we're on site for the next one. Uh, initially, I was thinking it was gonna be on this here. And then I thought, well, maybe it's this one over here, because the hint is think outside the box. So I was thinking box, box, but then I saw this hole over here. And this is where it kind of caught my eye. It's this over here. I don't know, 14 feet. So maybe it is. Uh, <laughs> so I come walk all around all that talk for nothing because uh, it's right there. We've seen these plenty of time over the years. So another one in the books. Hey guys, so we're about 340 feet or so from this next geocache, which is through this field into them trees. So I'm going to take the this area here down that's cut first, and then I'm going to work my way through that way, see what happens. Okay, car's locked. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I couldn't remember if I did it or not. 250 feet. 30, 230 feet. So we're getting there. Looks like there's a property line that runs a little bit. Let's start cutting across. 180, 170. Grass is getting higher, guys. What am I going to do? Woo 150. 130, 117, 90 feet, guys. We're getting close. We getting real close. 70 feet, and we're at the tree line. 50 feet, going in. Oh, but just vibrated, so I'm at 30 feet. 29 feet. <sighs> 20 feet. Oh, I see it. I do, I do. Look at that. Ah, oh, yes. Awesome. See you in the next one. Hey guys, Captain here with you. So I've been doing cash and uh, I know I've got over 50 finds today. A lot of them have been in repeats, styles like lampposts, stop signs, uh, ones along those lines. So it's sometime after five o'clock here in Alabama. I'll probably be cashing for another hour or two, but it seems like they're just gonna be normal traditional style one so i just you know want to say thank you guys for watching thank you to you all who have subscribed to my channel strongly appreciate it and we are on site for the next cache and yeah right there see stop sign traditional you know it, it's what i've had i've had found about 30 of these styles with this little metal container which is pretty cool different from where i'm from most of our stop signs are at the base of the pole these a lot are up here with these so it's pretty cool with that being said though like i said you guys keep it going have a good weekend uh, a lot of videos coming out here in the next couple of days hopefully from this trip and i will see you guys tomorrow